Hello and welcome to our collective worship for this week. I expect that there's probably quite a lot more of you in school watching this. You might be feeling all sorts of different things, perhaps a bit anxious about being back in school, but also perhaps excited about being able to see your friends. However you're feeling, I suspect that you probably started the week or the day with one of these, a big smiley face. We often use these if we send them in text messages or messages to people so as they know that we're smiling with them and a smile is some way that we greet other people started the worship by smiling at the camera so as you know what's coming is going to be a good thing there are lots of times when we think we would be smiling so perhaps when we see our friends and our family. Perhaps when we see the sunshine in the sky. Perhaps when somebody tells us a really good joke that we find very funny. All those different times that we might smile. Might be if somebody gives us a lovely gift, when we've had a photograph taken and so on. Of course nowadays when we take photographs of people we snap away on our phones, we expect them to smile, don't we? We say cheese or sausages or smile, whatever it is that you do. However, in Victorian times, in the 1800s, it was completely the opposite. No smiling was allowed. People had to look very, very serious. Do not on any account smile. So I want to do something this morning that I won't be able to see you doing, but I want to see if you can manage this. So for the next 30 seconds, I want you to sit in class or wherever it is that you're watching this from and look serious. So no smiling on any account. And I want to see if you can do that for 30 seconds. As I'm guessing, the time started, I'm guessing that most of you, as soon as somebody says, you've got to look really serious, the first thing you want to do is smile and start to laugh and have a bit of a giggle. And if you catch somebody else's eye across the classroom, that's going to be disaster because that's going to set you off giggling. I'll be very impressed to hear from any of your teachers if you've actually managed 30 seconds of no smiling at all because I haven't managed it in the 30 seconds and I bet some of you haven't managed it either. You can relax and go back to your usually smiley selves. But smiling is an amazing thing. It shows us that we're happy, that something good is going on. But did you know that there's over 18 different types of smile? There's a smile that says, hello. A smile that says, I'm actually feeling a bit sad. A smile that says you're really excited about something and so on. Perhaps you might like to try today smiling in different ways or how you react. A smile uses between five and 53 different muscles. So it's much better to be smiling. When you smile, your body, this is the scientific bit, releases chemicals can, can, called endorphins, which make you feel better. People who smile, well, we like them better, don't we? Somebody's always looking grumpy and cross. We're not really going to be going near them. But if somebody's smiling, you usually are drawn to them. You can often tell if someone's smiling, even if you're chatting to them on the phone. And did you know that bosses in the world of work are more likely to promote people who smile? So I want you to think for a moment about how it makes you feel when someone smiles at you. Was it that catching of somebody's eye across the classroom? A smile when somebody you haven't seen for a while? Or your teacher this morning? Or when you've started back at school, smiling at a class full of pupils once again? It makes us feel really good, doesn't it? When somebody smiles at us. There's a common saying, a smile costs nothing but gives much. So it costs me nothing to smile at all of you. But hopefully it gives you so much because you know that I'm happy to be doing this worship with you. A verse in the Bible says, a cheerful heart is good medicine. Even in the Bible, we hear of smiling, of the way people greeted each other in a good way. 
people, when we smile at people, can really make people feel happier. The person who receives a smile, but also us ourselves. So perhaps today, when you're going out and about and around the place, around school, when you get home this evening, try smiling and really think about why am I smiling? How does it make me feel? How would it make somebody else feel? So in just a few moments of reflection, I'd like you to think for a moment about somebody you know who smiles a lot. It might be a parent or a carer, it might be a brother or sister, it might be a grandparent, it might be your best friend, it might be your teacher. It can be absolutely anybody. I want you to think just for a moment about somebody who smiles a lot. I want you to think then about a time when somebody has given you a smile that's made you feel good. It may be for something nice that you've said, a gift you've given, something you've done, a bit of help, or just greeting somebody. It doesn't matter. It's what that smile says. I want you to decide to smile a lot today. You may be surprised at the reactions you get if you walk around smiling. But just think how great school will be if you can smile at one another. Sometimes, though, we might not feel like smiling. Sometimes we might feel a bit sad, something bad's happened. So I encourage you to look out for those who might be struggling to smile a bit, for those who might not feel like smiling much today, and about how you can care for them. And if you are feeling a bit sad, you've got lots of teachers and staff in school, people to talk to about how you're feeling. So try smiling, look out for those who are struggling and care for them and spread that smile around school today. So let us pray. Thank you God for an amazing world. We have so much that makes us happy. Please help us to do our part in making the world a happier place. Please help us today to smile at others and make them happy. Thank you also that you know when we feel sad and unhappy and that you give us people to talk to about that. And we thank you that amongst the smiles we can share our problems with others as well. Amen. So we say the words of the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining in our worship today. Keep smiling, keep smiling at people and look out for those who may be struggling today to look after them and to bring that smile back to their face.